My name is Nick Mancuso. I'm here in Toronto, Canada in front of the Metro Toronto Convention Centre where the CHFA, the Canadian Health Food Association, is having its annual meeting. Today we spoke to several manufacturers and suppliers about the impact Health Canada is having upon the health food industries of Canada. I'm here with uh, Dean Parks. This is Nick Mancuso of Power Health Radio. Hi, and Nick. Uh, hi, Dean. How are you doing? Now, well, Dean, your company is called Let me look, Preferred it's Nutrition. It's called Prefer, for Preferred Nutrition, and you're a vitamin and herbal supplier right here in Canada. Yes, we're a national uh, distributor of supplements across across the country, exclusive to health food stores and specialty pharmacies. And how long have you uh, been in business now? Preferred Nutrition has been ten years. Mm -hmm. But I uh, my first health food store in North Vancouver in 1975. Wow. So I've been in the industry almost 40 years now. So you know something about this? Well, I've been around a long time, so you sort of pick something up along the way. Right, and yeah. you've seen people actually heal. Actually, that's that's the greatest pleasure I get out of this business. Isn't that it's wonderful? Not, it's not just about the money. It's about having people come back and who've been whose, whose lives have changed. And I've seen so many uh, people personally come up and thank us. And really, we didn't do anything. We uh, um, offer them products that help their body uh, heal itself. You know, even though I am a businessman in, and in the industry, and I've been fortunate to be able to, um, you know, pay the bills from uh, the natural food industry, my real beginning started in 1973. I got into the industry for personal use, for as a consumer. Mm -hmm. um, I'd read in a book where if the amount of, um, this may sound back in the 60s, but if an amount of LSD that could fit on the head of a pin could give you a distorted sense of reality for um, up to eight, ten hours. Just imagine with the chemical cocktail of, of artificial flavors and dyes and sweeteners and colors, what kind of a distorted sense of reality you'd have. Because I was a fairly healthy young guy, but I, I, I did realize that our brain is also part of our, our, our structure. And um, the more I looked into it, the more I realized that um, a lot of these artificial ingredients and diabetes and obesity causing ingredients we're probably one of the biggest um, scourges of scourges of our of our health, and the type two diabetes is really it's a it's a nutritional. You don't need drugs to help with that. You just need it's it's, it's a dietary thing. I had to find that out, Dean. No, exactly. No, exactly. I it had should to discover be, that. How and would that's, you know that if you didn't go through it? it? It's almost it. It's such a it's almost criminal that they don't make this information known in schools. As my feeling is, prescription drugs have a place. Yeah. Um, you know, in my sort of perfect world, be if you went to a medical doctor, they would first, if you had pain or you had prostate, you had a, any issue, they'd first give you a preventative treatment. They, you know, look at your diet, look at what you're eating, look, look what's contributing to the illness, then put you on more of safe, natural remedies, and I, I would say 80 to 90 percent of the people would be fine, would be um, alleviate their ailments with that. And then if you need some prescription drug or a little bit. But it shouldn't be the first, the only. I've seen people go in for a back pain, and they become oxycotton right. addicts, like right. crack addicts, right. when they could be put on a, an anti-inflammatory from a health food store, yeah. and they would have been fine. There would have been no side effects. And this is the type of um, thing that I don't understand. When I look at our our Health Canada, who are apparently the people who are in charge of our health in Canada, they seem to be more interested to go after safe products that to date, since I've been in the industry and I've traveled to stores coast to coast, I've been to a thousand stores, I, nobody has ever died from, from shopping in these stores, or they seem to be more interested in going after safe products than putting the same effort into how do we can we make prescription drugs so they're not killing and make people call about suicide and all the side effects. Yeah, exactly. They're going after the health food industries instead of going after the pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals are the number one cause of accidental death exactly. in America, the fourth leading exactly. cause of death in hospitals. And as far as we understand it, 750,000 people a year die from pharmaceutical drugs taken as directed. Now you would but, think that in the medical uh, schools that these doctors would be getting at least a couple of years in the naturopathic healing uh, modalities and that they would take that tack first, which is use natural products first and only as a last resort exactly. they'll go to the pharmaceuticals. Well, I, I really hope that the world changes, Dean, and thank people you, like Nick. you are helping. And thank you on behalf of Power Health Radio. 
and the patients, the people that need your help, for helping. Thank you, Nick, very All much. Right. I Take appreciate care. it. All, All the right. best.